this, this is this is Wimbledon, this is Formula One Monaco, this is the Super Bowl. For us, Argentina probably looks uh, normal, but it's not normal. It's, this is huge. This is uh, amazing. It, this is for sure the the best polo in the world. <laughs> Imagine that you are riding at uh, 70 kilometers per hour and you are hitting a ball that flies uh, 300 kilometers, so it's, it's very dangerous. And you are on top of uh, an animal that weighs uh, 500 kilos, so it's, it's a battle. You're talking about the oldest team sport in the world. The club was founded in 1888 by, by the British community. The, the British, they brought the game, the rules, and, and after 10 years of hosting here the, the, the Hellingham Open, the, the locals uh, started to beat the, the British. Y los argentinos creo que son los mejores del mundo por la equitación, por la, la destreza, aparte viene de, de muy lejos, ¿no? de, de toda una raíz muy, muy de campo, todo que, que se ha hecho un deporte muy tradicional acá. Oh, Argentina has such a horse tradition and especially the main horse sport is polo. So it's uh, more popular than anywhere in the world. Here the, there's a lot of land, there's a lot of farms, there's a lot of horses. So it's quite easy to play polo and everybody ha is uh, accessible to, to, to do it. The possibility of, of playing uh, all year round and the possibility of having hundreds of horses was the, the secret of why Argentinians, they became so good so quickly. There, is a, <coughs> there are very few cases uh, where there is such a domination uh, in one sport, and Argentina is, is one case. When I started playing polo seriously at 10 or 12 year old, my dream was playing the final Palermo. Everybody's dream is playing the final Palermo. There's only a few people make it. Every player dreams with, with that idea. It's either having a horse from your own breed, playing the open, than maybe having your son. But it's more or less the same. I started riding horses when I was two years old. I, I knew since I was a child that I, I wanted to be a, a polo player. Well, I started play, playing polo a long time ago, since I was in the stomach with my mother. So uh, I was for probably, I started riding when I was four years old. They start very young and that's also one of the main reasons why Argentina is one of the best countries. It's the best country in the world in polo. I think it comes well, the new generation. There are many kids who play very well in polo and many kids who are small kids who are giving it all. So there is a future in polo. Normally, when your parents play, you want your sons to play also, and that is like something you pass by through the generations. Yo soy la cuarta generación que estamos trabajando acá. Yo trabajé con mi abuelo y con mi papá actualmente, así que nos mantenemos en el trabajo en familia. Casa Fagliano comenzó en el año 1892 cuando un Unos años antes vinieron nuestros bisabuelos desde Italia. Bueno, aquí, aquí hacemos botas para jugar al polo, especialmente. La mayoría eh, lleva un gran trabajo manual. Muchas partes de la bota hay que hacerlas de manera manual. Eh, y esos trabajos requieren mayor dedicación y mucho tiempo. Nosotros calculamos más o menos que para un par de botas se eh, estiman 45 horas de trabajo. Nosotros defendemos este modo de trabajar porque va cumpliendo paso a paso con todas las etapas y el tiempo necesario para que el trabajo salga con esta calidad. Apurar eso es saltear muchos pasos y no sería lo mismo. Bueno, ahora en el próximo partido que va a estar el sábado de, de la final del polo en Argentina, Aproximadamente el 60% de los jugadores que van a estar allí van a estar calzando de nuestras botas. You have uh, four players in, in one team. Each player is using uh, 15 to 20 horses per game. Uh, polo ponies are, the, are the, 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 the secret of the game. A good player with a bad horse is not such a good player. 
uh, and, uh, and not such a good player with a good horse can be a very good player. There is a strong connection between the gaucho life and polo. Why? Because the polo horse comes from the crossing of the thoroughbred and the Argentinian working horse. From there you get uh, a horse that is strong, easy, and the speed comes from the thoroughbred. So like that we got the first, uh, the first polo, Argentinian polo horses. Yo me llamo Martín Tata, soy un gaucho pues me crié en el campo, sé todo lo que es el campo lo mamé de toda mi vida, fui hasta el colegio a caballo, no solo por usar la ropa vestido de gaucho, sino que el gaucho trabajaba en el campo como cuidando las vacas, eh, después bueno, amansar, eh, domar los caballos que, para poder andar, hay que amansarlo muy bien de abajo, muy bien manso de abajo que no te vaya a patear ni morder ni manotear, nada. La vida del gaucho es dura, pero es linda. Cuando ella te, te tiene que entregar la cabeza ahí, no tiene que hacer fuerza. Acá no hay fuerza. Si no, hay que lograr el, el, el contacto del animal que, que él se relaje con vos. Y ahí se tiene que entrar a acomodar y echarse solito, sin hacer fuerza. Nunca le hice echar en el camino. No me llame, mierda. Es medio complicado acá, pero bueno. Tranquila, mucha. Vos fijate que yo no hice fuerza, ella se larga sola. The peticeros are a very important part of the organization and, and of the game. Very, very important because they ones that they live with the horses. Uh, they are the ones that they know exactly what, how the horses are feeling. Mi nombre es Raúl Rodríguez, peticero de Juan Martín Nero. Estoy con los caballos toda la vida, trabajando toda la vida. Me gusta cuidar los caballos porque creo que se nace para esto y es, es todo, es una pasión. Desde niño es lo, lo que más me gusta y lo, lo, creo que es lo mejor que he aprendido a hacer. This is the biggest of them all. Palermo, the final. You will see 20 to 25,000 people watching the polo today from every part of the world. Bueno, lo, el significado de, para, para el deporte nuestro, que es el número uno en el mundo, y para la Argentina, este es un hecho muy particular. Esto es llamado Palermo la Catedral del Polo. Porque es, es el más importante, son los 40 goles que se juegan en todo el mundo. Más, eh, o sea, en Argentina está Tortugas, Herlingan, y después bueno, sigue Palermo, que es el más importante. Si eres un fan de la polo, no hay otro lugar para estar aquí. Es una oportunidad única. Los tres torneos más importantes del mundo que se toman aquí en Argentina. Y vas a encontrar los mejores handicaps del mundo, los mejores, mejores jugadores uh, are playing uh, against each other. This is the time where you can find the best polo in the world. It's like uh, Nadal against uh, Djokovic, Messi against Ronaldo. Y bueno, te puedo decir. Yo jugué en total 17 finales, gané tres y aunque perdieras, el, el hecho de estar presente en una final como esta es una satisfacción, no, no, es in, imposible de definirla, te digo. For a polo player, is, this tournament is everything. When you're young, you, 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 you dream to, to be here, to play the final, to win it. Feels great, feels that uh, to be in, the, in that position, uh, winning the best tournament in the world. It's always fantastic. Yeah, the game has eight chakras that uh, are the periods, and one chakra is seven minutes of net play. Here, not only that we play more chakras because we played as during the let's say the triple crown, they played eight chakras, and then the, here the amateur games we play six chakras. But in Europe, you play only four chakras. This is the, because of the possibility of having or not having so many horses. To see. Eight players on the field, running full speed. These players with the skill to hit the ball in the air, with uh, somebody to try to, to chase you. Even if you don't know, if you don't know about polo, you, you, you go out of this place thinking, I have to come back. I 
No, I think this is amazing. A lot of of tourists come to see see this day, this final. It's an amazing sport, and uh, uh, I think it's a great day, great day for for Argentina. This polo is a, a huge, big, nice, and perfect addition. It's it's a it's a lifestyle. Polo gets together the people that come and see it, locals, the foreigners that are interested in knowing more about our country, the people that work at the estancias. So it connects people from different backgrounds and different environments and puts them all together to work and show something really beautiful. Once you're in, in Polo, uh, it's impossible to be out of Polo. There's only two chances, either you die or you go bankrupt, but there is no way you are going to be out of polo once you are inside it's like a virus you know once you get that virus phew, it's unbelievable believe me you should try you should try mm -hmm.